<coughs> Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and today we're going to be exploring the concept of basically what scatter plots are and how we can what what best um, the line of best fit is. Okay, so as you can see, we have a bunch of data points here, and we have six data sets. Um, so here's one, here's two, and I made the um, pencil tool really big. <laughs> okay, so I guess I should make it a little smaller. Too small, uh, maybe three, four feet. Put. Um, okay, anyway, that so that is what we're gonna be using. Yep, or maybe two. Yeah, two is good. Okay, so let's look at this first graph here. Let's just get right into it. Let's look at this first graph right, right here. What is the line of best fit? Well, the line of best fit is where there aren't that many outliers and most of the data points fit close to this line. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, make a line like this. And we're trying to find what the best fit is. So, for example, would it be here? No, because most of the data points are on on the on the right side. Would it be over here? No, because most of the data points are below it now. So we would want a set, maybe something like that. Okay. So that might be the line line of best fit there. Okay. So right now we can see that it's going down like this. So it's a negative, negative um, relationship. So I'm going to put negative. N-E-G. Negative. Let's see, what else can we find out about this? We can find out that it's, it, is it a weak or strong relationship? Well, uh, a weak relationship is where there are a lot of points far off from the line. And a strong relationship is where... Most of the points are pretty close to the line. So I'm going to put strong here. Strong. And what else can we find out about, about it? Is it a linear or nonlinear relationship? A linear relationship is if it fits a line or if it if if it if it fits a line. If it's a nonlinear relationship, it would not fit a line. Okay. So this one, it looks like it's a strong Linear relationship. Linear relationship. Okay, so that is that. Now let's um. Now let's try and uh. Now let's try and do the next one. This one here. Now what is the line of best fit here? Well, we can try putting a line like this, but that won't work because it's way off. No, most people do from here, the origin. Um, but most people, some people don't. So I'm going to just start. Okay. So what is the line of best fit? Is it here? No, because most of the data points are below. Is it over here? No, because it's mostly above. So I would say the line of best fit is somewhere around here. If I had to give a line of best fit, it would be that. So as you can see, it's a positive positive because as it goes this way it also goes up right and those are both positive okay so uh, i mean if it goes up it's positive if it goes down it's negative positive comma what is it a strong or a weak relationship i would say this is a weak relationship so weak because most of the data points are far off. And then there's this notion of outliers. Uh, I'll tell you about that after I put if it's linear or not. Is it linear? Yes. So linear. Linear. What is an outlier? Well, an outlier is something that is super far away from the data um, the line of best fit. So for example, maybe this here is an outlier. This right here. Or maybe this here. Or even maybe this guy here. So those are all outliers. And if there are any outliers, I'm going to circle them, okay? Um, okay, so so those are the outliers. The ones that are super far away from the data set. Um, yeah, those things. Okay, so now let's change colors again. Let's see, maybe 
blue just for fun. Okay, so what is the line of best fit here? Is it that? No, because most of the data points are like, no, I, I don't think so. So I would think it's something like that, right? Somewhere in the middle. Maybe it's over here, maybe it's over here, but same thing. I'm going to assume it's right around here. Okay, so this is a positive, positive, um, strong, reasonably strong, strong, um, and I think it's a linear relationship. Linear. I think so. And what what is the most outlying thing here? Well, probably this guy. But there are probably no outliers here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Most of the lines fit this line pretty well. Okay. So now let's just arbitrarily change colors again. And I don't know. I'll do... Purple. I don't know. Just, just because. Come on. Oh wait, nope. That's the wrong selection. Wait a second. Okay, there we go. Purple. Okay. So, what is the line of best fit here? Is it here? No, because most of the data points are above. Is it over here? No, most of the data points are below. So I would say the line of best fit is not bad. I would think it's somewhere around here. Actually, maybe a little bit lower that. I don't think that's the line of best fit here. And I can just zoom in if you want. Okay. And we can just do this a lot. Okay. So is it a strong or weak? Well, let's do first say if it's positive or negative. I would say this is a negative. Positive. Positive. And I would say weak weak and I would also say it's linear linear okay so we have positive weak linear so uh, what are the outliers well here's a, maybe an outlier here's an outlier here's an outlier let's say this is an outlier there Right, this guy here, maybe this guy, and maybe this guy here, or maybe this one. There are a lot of outliers here. Um, okay, now let's look at this guy. Okay, so let's try to make a line of best fit here. And let's just randomly change colors for no reason. Green, okay. So let's try and make a line of best fit here. Maybe we can make a line like this. If we do that, most of the data points are below the, the line. So what do we do? Well, that's not the line of best fit. Maybe this is the line of best fit. That maybe? No, because a lot of points are above. Boop, boop. So no. What is it? Well, we can find a really good example if we just make a curve like that like that or um, that's a horrible curve but um nope yay okay so now we have our line of best fit and it's not really a line it's more of a curve and that fits the data much better than what we did like this um i think this is the line of best fit so i would say it's a negative negative um i would say it's pretty strong strong and i would say it's also non-linear linear yeah I would say it's non-linear okay so then let's look at this last one here I think this is the last one okay let's try and make a line of best fit well I would say this here is the line of best fit 
And let's just change colors for no reason again. Mm, I don't know, I'll just do pink or something. Um, dark pink. I think this is the line of best fit here. Don't you think? Actually, maybe we can move this down a little bit more like that. But I think that's the line of best fit. Now, I think I would say this is a negative. Negative. Um, linear. Linear. Weak. Uh, let's say strong. Maybe mediumly strong because, well, let's see, there are outliers, like, for example, this one here. Hmm. That one there. Or maybe, maybe that one there. Or maybe that one there. But I don't think that's an outlier. Oops, well, that's a mistake. Um, ooh, nothing. Now that's an outlier, that's an outlier, obviously. Maybe this is an outlier, maybe this is an outlier. Maybe I should do a dotted line. Um, hmm. Yeah, that, that's nice. Maybe. That just means maybe. Okay, so that is what I wanted to show you today. Oops, too too far. Okay, so that is basically what what dot mm, scatter plots are. Uh, how how you might be able to well figure out these things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, well, hit the thumbs down. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe. And um, see you see you at howtodojuicekitchen.com. See you at howtodojuicekitchen.com, and see you next time. Bye. I said bye. 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 Oops, too big. Bye.